I wanted to do a quick little video to show how I installed the Ice Age Helios headlight. Ah, oh, isn't it beautiful? Okay, so it's actually really simple. Um, first of all, you take your stock brackets that are holding your handlebars off and you install the Ice Age ones as shown with the brackets facing outward. When it comes to hooking up the wires and such, you'll get everything in a package. You get the headlight and it has that gray clip and then you get these other wires. You get your light switch. The light switch came plugged into itself and then this wire came plugged into itself. Those are not meant to be plugged into themselves. It's simply, the light switch is simply a break in the red wire. That's all it is. Um, the instructions tell you to hook things up. It says you hook things up to your diagnostic port cover on your bike. So this is what you'll normally see underneath your airbox. Well, as you can see, there is a red and a black wire in there. So they tell you to take these wires and to plug them into the top of your diagnostic port cover. On the top of this cover, you will see there are three holes. I've already taken out two little rubber things that cover those holes. It looks like this. You just take a screwdriver or something and pop that little guy out. And you are left with three holes. I wanted to make a note. If you look down those holes, you can see that there are some little snap things on the bottom side of the holes inside here. So when this is sitting up on your bike like this, those snap thingies are actually facing outward. When you go to plug these in, the sides that are going to snap to are right there. So those little hooks should also be facing outward like so, except as you can see, I'm putting it in wrong because I have my red on the black side. Before I do all this, and the reason I haven't actually finished this install is because I'm going to be installing nitrous on the bike as well. My nitrous battery has those same hookups and obviously I don't have enough ports for all those hookups, so I'm going to have to do some soldering of these wires onto these wires or vice versa so I can make it all work. Okay, so I have it temporarily hooked up here um, just to show you that it'll work. As you can see, I moved my kill switch over there nitrous button's gonna go right here. But I'm pretty stoked to have this light and I'm pretty excited to go try it out at night. I've heard it's a lot brighter than it looks in my garage. I wanted to make a note of the only two modifications I had to make to my bike to do this. Number one modification was the bar pad. If you have a bar pad, you will have to eyeball, th eyeball those brackets and figure out how to cut your bar pad so it'll fit over the brackets. Pretty good for a first timer. This hole in the top is where I put my temperature gauge. The other modification I had to make was right here on my uh, front number plate, the bracket of the Ice Age mount system was going to rub on it. So I had to cut that out so it would fit. Um, again, I'm not putting everything back together at the moment because I've got nitrous over here that also needs to be installed uh, just waiting on a couple parts until I do that stay tuned I'm gonna have this light set up in the snow this winter at night it's gonna be a riot in conjunction with the Helios uh, bracket whatever mount by Ice Age Performance I'm also gonna be running this task racing uh, helmet mount headlight on my head it's got it plugged in
Doesn't look super bright in the garage, but trust me, at nighttime, this thing's bright. That helmet mount in conjunction with the Ice Age Helios mount is going to be awesome. Just wanted to mention one more thing that it is important that you just um, read through the instructions. There are a couple things in here that I didn't mention in my install that you should know about, like using blue Loctite. We're also checking that your front brake line does not hit the light uh, under full compression. You can loosen these bolts here and swivel this whole thing up or down to uh, make sure that your brake line is not going to hit it. I haven't had a chance to do that yet. Subscribe to the channel, people. You don't want to miss all the fun.